a linear function with normally distributed errors around it is called ordinary linear regression. Not because it is ordinary, or what you typically expect, but because it is one of the oldest techniques around, dating back over two centuries. But a normal distribution around a model is not always a reasonable approximation to real-world events. Many processes are skewed, discrete, or otherwise inherently non-normal. And that brings us to the topic of this video series. The Generalized Linear Model, or GLM, is an extension of the Ordinary Linear Model. Whereas ordinary linear models can only assume normally distributed errors, a GLM allows you to choose from a number of different probability distributions. This opens the doors to modeling fundamentally non-normal processes, like counts, ratios, binary data, waiting times, and more. Now we can do regression analysis with all sorts of outcomes. This is the power of a GLM. To understand how it works and how it differs from ordinary linear regression, let's briefly revisit ordinary linear models. Observations don't fall exactly on the line. So if we flip the figure over and try to show where we do expect them, imagine a normal distribution running along the line describing which positions are more likely and which are less likely. This is just an assumption. It doesn't have to be true. But for the sake of argument, let's see what true normality looks like. These are about half a million normally distributed errors around the model. If we bring back our normal distribution for reference, you can see what the normal curve actually implies. Most observations are close to the model, some are further away, and further deviations are exceedingly less likely. How likely is defined by the height of this normal distribution. So, in an ordinary, simple linear model, the prediction is a line and the error a normal distribution. Since it lies exactly on top of the line, and not here, nor here, this normal distribution always has a mean of zero. Outcome equals line plus zero mean normal distribution. This is the interpretation you have learned so far. However, there is another correct way to interpret simple linear regression. Instead of saying the prediction is a line and the remainder a zero mean normal distribution, we can also say that the prediction is a normal distribution with mean equal to the line. At any given point on the line, we predict a normal distribution. But the mean of that distribution depends on the value of the explanatory variable. Move to a different value of the explanatory variable, and we predict a normal distribution with a different mean. This way of interpreting things is called conditional normality. So one way to think about simple linear regression is line plus zero mean normal distribution, and another way is normal distribution with mean equal to the line. Great, but why bother with this new perspective? What's the point? The first perspective of line plus error only works for ordinary linear regression. The second perspective of probability distribution with a mean that depends on the line is really close to what we're doing in a GLM. We are estimating the effect of the explanatory variable on the parameters of the chosen probability distribution. So, a GLM is just a linear model with a different probability distribution around it? Almost. I just didn't tell you yet about the last crucial component to make our GLM complete. To find out what it is, in the next video, we'll have a look at the first real example and application of GLMs by trying to model counts.